I'm Paul Reid, manager of Stafford Shrams FC, and I'm going to do your World Cup preview. I'd like to think all way, but you never know England, we could come out of group stages. We'll, more than likely we'll probably lose to Panama, draw to Tunisia and, and beat Belgium. That's where we'll probably go, but I think we can go as far as we want. We've got young players, so I can't see us... Listen, it's World Cup, we can go as far as we want if we want it. It's entirely up to the players, aren't they? The squad isn't littered with superstars anymore, like <coughs> Frank Lampard's Gerrards. So what are your thoughts on the final 23? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, but where's that got us in the past? You know, we've had team four superstars and done nothing. Um, I think this time round, though, to be fair, we've got hungry players, a lot of young young players, a lot of fast players. I think main 23, I think he's, he's got it right, most of the players. I want to took a few um, that he's took. But, yeah, I think we've got a decent squad, to be fair. 23 players, like I said, full of youth. Fuller attacking options, so it's not bad. Who's your star player? You've got to be looking at Sterling. He's had an absolute world year season. I think what he scored 18 goals, 11 assists, one league. Um, Harry Kane again. We've got a few superstars, but I think we, we've got to be relying on Sterling and Kane to get us through, I think, uh, more than anyone. Um, so, yeah, Sterling for me um, is a man. That's my phone, that. That's uh, but it's Gareth Southgate, mate. All right, Gareth. Yeah, I'm just busy, mate, just previewing your World Cup squad, pal. Just say, uh, give us two minutes, mate. I'll phone you back. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll turn that on silent now. Yeah, sorry, bud. I think with players he's got on balance of it, I think, yeah, it's probably the right thing to do. Again, 3-5-2 sets you up for an attacking option and I think it complements players that we've got at the minute instead of doing that basic 4-4-2. I mean, if you remember back, the people like Paul Scholes are missing out on the squad because we're playing 4-4-2. So I think 3-5-2 definitely complements players that we're taking uh, and obviously it gives us that attacking option, which I believe that Southgate is wanting to set up us and, and go for it. So. So, yeah. right back or right back? Um, well, I'm a blade on so I swear by Kyle Walker, I think. Uh, I think having Walker at right centre back, I think he's wanting obviously to use the the outside centre backs to to take ball and and, and grab a, grab hold at game as well. So Walker does that well. Uh, obviously, it brings in Alexander Arnold. See, I play him over Trippier any day of week. Um, so I think yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. I think Walker Walker right centre back, um, and I play Maguire left centre back. Just purely factors that them two can grab hold at ball and, and take it forward. So yeah. I'd play Kyle Walker right at centre back. My strong opinion on John Ennison is I can't see him as an England captain. I, I just find it flabbergasting, to be quite honest. To be fair, he's done well for Liverpool this year, um, so you can't take that away from him. Um, replacement wise, it's hard to, to say a replacement. Purely fact is that we've got no one. And I think that's the reason why Jordan Henderson's in, especially in a prominent role as captain. Um, I think if we've got any other options, he don't even get a look in. But um, for me, John Joe Shelby had to go to the World Cup. I don't see any place for, for likes of Phil Jones. Phil Jones is just a wasted space in the squad for me. Eric Dyer can drop back to centre half if we've got injuries there. So I don't see reason why Phil Jones is there. So, but with Henderson, <clears throat> my, my strong opinion is captain of England. I can't see it myself personally. Um, all balls he plays is either sideways or backwards. Um, but that's my opinion. That's why I manage staff and got a Southgate managed England. So. Well, you'd be liking to think so. I mean, my surprise package, again, I mentioned him earlier, Sterling. Um, he's 100 to 1 with Bookies to beat Golden Boot. I think that's a tip for everyone. Because um, I think Sterling's going to play a prominent role if he gets. If Southgate has balls to play in, basically, because I think Lingard's played well as well. Um, 
But yeah, you'd like to think Harry Kane could get golden boot as well. Near my England top goal scorer. Especially Panama and Tunisia games. We've got to be looking to, to put three or four past both of them, really. But again, it's England, so... But yeah, Harry Kane's got a very, very good chance of being England's top goal scorer. Away from England, who will lift the trophy? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I mean, there's Argentina, Brazil. I think Germans, again, you can't rule Germans out. I fancy Germany. Um, I do fancy Germany, big style. Um, again, why not England, though? You know, why not? Let's, let's go for it and why not? We've always got to believe, we're always believing. Since 66, we've always believed, so why not? But yeah, Germany, I think for me, they'll probably go on and win the World Cup. So if you could predict who Germany will play in the final, what do you think it'll be? Um, obviously, to be honest, I'm not too sure whether they, all the meeting group stages at knockout, but um, I think Brazil's got a good chance as well. They've got a, quite an easy group stage. I don't know whether Germany and Brazil meet before the final or not, but I think Brazil, probably my second pick um, to win the World Cup. You mentioned how you came about being top goal scorer. Yeah. If it's not him, who is it? Good question. Um, <laughs> there's loads of world talent, man. The Aguero, Messi, Ronaldo. They might be a surprise package. I mean, James Rodriguez. You know, if if they do well, he can be, he can get some goals for Colombia. So, um, again, though, I'd like to think our group stages are quite easy with Panama. I think Harry Kane, if he gets a brace, a piece against Tunisia and you only need four or five to win Golden Boot, so he's got a chance. Uh, who will win it though eventually? I'm going to stick my neck on line and I'm going to go for Thomas Muller, Germany. Well, <laughs> most of my mates are going. I do watch England away from, uh, away from home. Uh, I've been loads of trips. I went to Euros last time. Actually spent some some time with Harry Maguire across in France, uh, and what a top lad he were. And and I told him there and then that he'd be next World Cup. And he started laughing at me. Says I've got to get inside when Steve Bruce picks me yet because that was when he were at all. Um, so I won't go. Purely fact is we all animosity that's surrounding it. Um, a few of my mates are going, uh, but they're just going over, staying in the hotel, and going to match, and then that's it. But I don't think that'll stop England fans. I think we'll we'll be taking a lot of numbers and um, and having a party as they do. Finally, any final messages for the England squad? Final messages: just believe, believe, enjoy it. A lot of young players in there, so go out, enjoy it, um, express yourselves, try and do your best because there'll be millions of people back home cheering you on. No matter how rubbish we are, we'll be cheering them on and always believing. So. They've got to go with the same attitude no matter who they come up against.